Yo, what is up? It is Maverick Lundy here, and today I'm going to be showing you the best Azami site setup spots on Nighthaven. Also, real quick, I just want to mention, I will be linking the Discord server in the description down below. Please feel free to join it. We would love to have you in there. Now, when running Azami, I suggest using the ACS-12 as their primary. This is because it comes with an ACOG. Now, the first site that we are going to be looking at is going to be Kitchen. For the first barricade spot, I suggest coming up to this entry doorway and throwing it directly at the top. What this barricade will do is force the attackers to crouch whenever they're peeking into sight. For the second barricade, you're going to want to come up beside B-Bomb and look at the corner of this wall. You are going to want to toss it down like so. Now, this barricade is my favorite in this site. This is because you can have this really nice angle on the entry doorway combined with that first barricade that forces them to crouch. You can get some easy kills. You can also vault on top of this table and hold an angle on the doorway from above. Also, if the attackers hard breach this wall, you can also have an angle from up here, which is very nice. For the third barricade, you're going to want to make your way behind this kitchen counter. You're going to want to toss it down a little bit to the right of these red plates. Now, this barricade will give you and your team extra cover, and you will also get two nice angles on this entry doorway. You can also vault on this counter behind you, and this will give you extra angles from above the barricade that you can hold like so. For the next barricade, you're going to want to make your way over to this wall, then toss that barricade on the side of the wall above the table. Now, what this barricade will do is make it harder for the attackers to swing into sight and get a position in there. Most of their vision will be blocked. Now, this last barricade spot is optional but you could place one above the doorway but i would suggest keeping it to replace any that are destroyed now the next sites that we are going to be looking at is going to be in basement for the first barricade come up to this entry doorway into a and come up to this little railing and throw it directly at the top as i do this will make it safer for you and your team to swing out of this doorway because that entrance is blocked by that barricade now next i'd suggest coming into b-bomb and making a rotate hole on this wall into this other room in this room you're going to want to come up to this thing and throw a barricade directly at the top right corner this will give you a dirty angle towards the bottom of the barricade looking into sight. This is a pretty solid angle to have. You can even play on the opposite side and come behind this railing and play on the entry doorway into this room and get some easy kills. For the next tip, we're actually going to go out this entry doorway and make feet holes on this wooden wall. These are some extremely solid feet holes because you can see any attacker that come down these steps. For the next barricade, make your way into a bomb and come up to this window. Now you're going to want to just toss the barricade directly on the bottom in the center. Now any attackers that push into this this room that might gain access they will not be able to see into sight now i understand all they have to do is melee this three times but you will be able to know that they are there from the noise now the next setup is going to be in b-bomb now do you notice how whenever you walk into sight your whole body is exposed to this wall you're going to want to toss a barricade on the top right corner of this box now as you can see it's way safer to swing into sight the attackers love to hard breach this wall specifically because it gives them angles into sight this is from the attacker's point of view and they can't see that doorway at all now there is also the second entrance that you can do the exact same thing on all you're going to want to do is come up to this desk and throw it on the top left corner as you can see if we're swinging into sight from the doorway the wall has no angle on it. this is a pretty op barricade spot you can even come up beside the barricade and vault on top of the desk and hold an angle on the wall from above now i know by this point we're out of barricades but if you want to set up this site very good specifically you could also throw a third barricade on the center on these boxes this will give you and your squad a whole lot of extra cover that you didn't have previously now the next sites that we're going to be getting into to is command center and server upstairs for the first barricade you're going to want to make your way into server and throw it on the top right corner of this box if the attackers are trying to swing in from this doorway they will not be able to see the doorway connecting both of the sites which is very nice because they won't be able to see you rotating between the two for the next spot make your way into connector and come up to this wall above these plants you are going to want to toss it on the side of the wall now if you make your way back to the doorway and crouch you have created this one-way angle where you can easily kill the attackers trying to push into connector this would be the attack point of view of them casually swinging in they wouldn't be able to see you for the third spot make your way back into server and come up to the server itself you are going to want to toss it down on the corner any attacker that is peeking into sight from this doorway will not be able to see as much of the server corner as they were previously you can also have somebody play directly behind the barricade and hold this doorway or the other doorway entering into sight as well now this next barricade spot is pretty optional but i'd say it is very useful you want to come up to the entry into server and throw it at the top of this doorway this forces any any of the attackers trying to swing into sight from here to crouch now for the final barricade i would suggest keeping it to replace any that get destroyed or throw it on top of the doorway connecting both of the sites this just makes it to where if any attackers are swinging into sight from this doorway they don't have as good of an angle into the opposite site now sadly this is going to be the end of the video please make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you enjoyed or learned anything new i will be linking an azami playlist in the description down below make sure to check that out for more azami site setup 
I will also be linking all of my social media, such as TikTok, Twitch, and Instagram. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Peace out. I hope you have an amazing day.